Welcome, family and friends. Um, I'm not good at this, so but I was always told that anytime you're talking to a group, you should always start off with a joke. So I told this person that told me that a joke, and he said, you skip it. <laughs> so... Emily, I can still remember the day I first saw you. You were with your family, visiting Andrew at Smoking Pig. I saw no one but you in that moment. I just knew that I had to know who you were. Fast forward to today, I still feel this way, but way more amplified. Holding hands with you still melts my heart. I still smile like a goober when you tell me you love me. You're the only thing I see in a crowded room. You're the first thought when I wake up and the last one when I go to sleep and never left out of my dreams. I cannot say that I've prayed for a woman like you to enter my life because I couldn't have fathomed the ways you've touched my heart throughout the years. Couldn't have imagined love so pure. Couldn't have imagined a person who understands so much about me and how I feel and yet still striving to learn more every day. We have had some lows in our relationship, but every single one we have taken the bad and learned how we can be better for each other. We learned to speak up and be honest about things that bother us. I'm thankful for how much that has taught us both about each other. Over the years, I've seen your goofy side. Maybe I'm rubbing onto you a little, or maybe you're just truly happy. I can't wait to watch SpongeBob one Tree Hill, Finding Nemo, Lilo Stitch, and more with you. I love all the little things and inside jokes. And when you laugh at my dad jokes, that probably aren't even funny. I'm not sure where I'd be in where I'd be in life without your beautiful smile, those intoxicating eyes, and your warm heart that never lets me stay down. Emily Kate, I vowed to grow with you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I vow to communicate with you on every occasion. I will protect you with my very life, no matter the price. There's nothing on this earth that can drive my way of love from you. I love you, babe. Babe, we finally made it to our big day, though it came faster than we originally planned. I can't do anything but thank God for all that he has brought us through. Lord knows we've been through hell and back, but every bit of it has made us stronger not only for each other, but individually as well. I can't wait to begin this life with you and start this new chapter of our lives. I can't wait to create a family together. My entire life, I've dreamed about being with a man who will love me unconditionally. You were all of those things to me and more. I love that I can be myself around you without any hesitations. I love that you spend every waking moment caring for me and putting my best interests first. I've never had someone love me like you do, and that's all I could ever ask for. I fully believe that we're meant to do this life together, and that's why what we're going to do, with God at the center of it all. As we start this new chapter, I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. I promise to support your dreams and to respect our differences. I'll work to create a family filled with love, peace, laughter, patience, and respect. I promise to grow old together with you, cherishing each day with you. I love you, Matthew Kyle Waller. Welcome. Matt, Emily, and their families are so excited that you took the time to celebrate with them as they meet God in this holy moment. By your willingness to attend and witness this moment, you're not only celebrating their union, but partnering with them as they walk in this covenant relationship with God. Matt, do you take Emily to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her forsaking all others, and holding only to her so long as you both shall live. I do. Emily, do you take Matt to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. For the promise that you have now committed, you have chosen readings as a symbol and reminder of this promise. This is what they are, an outward expression of the commitment you have made to one another and to God. 
And rings are a fitting symbol for the marriage vow because of the metal that is so precious and the circle that has no end. So let these rings be a constant and silent reminder to guard your promises today to each other. Matt, you'll take the ring, place it on the finger of your bride, and repeat after me. I'm Matt. I'm Matt. Take you, Emily. Take you, Emily. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death do us part. Amen. Emily, if you will take the ring and place it on the finger of your husband and repeat after me. I, Emily. I, Emily. Take you, Matt. Take you, Matt. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Today, Matt and Emily have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. One strand represents God and His majesty. Another strand represents the groom and his life. The third represents the bride and her life. In braiding these three strands together, Matt and Emily will demonstrate that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is in unity with God as well. And they have chosen to allow God to be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12 reads, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And so now, it is my honor and my privilege by the authority given by our Lord Jesus Christ that I can now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Oh, here you are. And they also have the privilege of announcing for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Matt Law. I just wanted to thank everybody for being here. It's great to see so many people here. Those of you that knew Emily when she was little may remember how very quiet she was. We didn't really think she was ever gonna start talking. And then we realized that she was just sitting back and letting her sister do all the talking for her. <laughs> um, but for those that know her well now, know that she's trying to make up for lost time. <laughs> um, behind all that quiet, uh, was a whole lot of sneaky as well. She used to get away with murder because she's so quiet and she was such a masterful, masterful uh, sneak <laughs> that she would get, nobody would ever suspect her of anything. She was just always, always uh, under the radar. Uh, so 
as she got a little older, I was so blessed to uh, have the opportunity to tuck her into bed. And the last thing that I would say to her before I left her that left her room that night was, "Good night, pretty angel. You're daddy's pretty little angel, and I love you very much. You will always be daddy's pretty little angel, and I will always, always love you." And I'm so proud of the young woman that Emily has become. Uh, she has a heart for helping others, especially children, and a strong faith in God. She has such a strong has such strong convictions and never hesitates to stand up for what she believes in. And I'm so proud of her for that. Uh, and let's talk about Matt. For as far back as I've known him, Matt has been such a devoted person to, to Emily. Early on in their relationship, I could see the devotion and I knew that he was the right man for Emily. I am so thankful to know that my daughter has found a husband that loves her as Matt does. So when I thought about what kind of advice I could give to Emily and Matt uh, for their future, and I, I, I'm sorry, but this is a, a, a redo for those that were at my other daughter's wedding a little bit, but, I, but it's the best advice anywhere. Um, I couldn't begin to come up with the, any advice better than what my own father gave to all of his children and grandchildren in a letter he wrote to us many years ago. So I'm going to let Dad provide the advice. Quoting from part of his letter, Now all of this cannot work without love. I mean true love. And it is something that cannot be taught. It must be experienced and felt. The one thing that helps, and I realize this more and more as I age, hold hands whenever the opportunity arises. When you go to church, and when in church, and when you're walking or shopping, hold hands. This should give you the feeling of intimacy. Yes, you'll have quarrels. No two people will always think alike and want the same things, but compromise is a thing that usually works. I don't think that I or anyone else can give you a magic formula. The best thing is to talk to each other about life itself and know how, know how the two of you will handle any given situation, your wants and what you don't want. One other important thing I found that works is turn the page. Do not ever go to bed at night with the feeling of anger. No matter what the problem was, when you go to bed, always say goodnight, sweetheart, or honey, or whatever your, your term is, and once again, hold hands, even if only briefly. So after a long, such a long and successful marriage, uh, I would have to say that my father knew what he was talking about. Before I take a seat, I have one last task to perform, and it's a task that I, is both my honor and my privilege. Ladies and gentlemen, Please raise a glass and join me in wishing the newlyweds a long, healthy, and very happy future together to Matt and Emily Lawler. Can I get another hug? I get a hug from you too. Love you. So for those who do not know me, I'm Michael. Obviously the best guy Matt knows. We have been friends for going on 16 years, which is a very long time to put up with his level of weirdness and all those corny jokes. He has been there for me in the absolute hardest times of my life. And it's a blessing for me to be able to stand here and be a part of one of the best parts of his. But the bigger blessing is more or less that Emily decided that she was gonna walk into his life and walk through life with him from that point on. It's hard to kind of go through the things that Matt's having to go through in his life. And for her to choose to weather that storm with him says so much about who you are as a person, but even more about the love you have for Matt. I know you'll always be there for him when he's weak, be there for him whenever he needs to be stronger. And that's all that I can ask for as his best friend. I know that your future's gonna be filled with plenty of laughter, jokes, fun times and plenty of awesome memories and I hope to be a part of many of those. I wish you two the absolute best and I cannot wait to see the life that you two will build together. So to everybody, to Matt and Emily. Did I not set it there? You didn't take my speech? I can't do it without it. Got it. Take it. 
Stop. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> In case that doesn't make me, like, I'm not already nervous enough. Let's lose the speech and then have it just be in my dress. You know, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, for those of you who don't know my name, my name is Kendall. I am Emily's sister as well as the Matron of Honor. Um, before I begin, I just want to make sure everybody has a drink because if you aren't drinking, then I won't be funny. And I need to be funny. <laughs> um, so I'm a bit nervous, so for full disclosure, I'm picturing everybody in their underwear. Please laugh, it will make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to start off, I just wanted to take a minute to thank Emily for choosing me of your, as your matron of honor. It has truly been a dream of mine to hold your dress while you pee. <laughs> you know, Emily once told me that she wanted four kids. I don't know how many kids Matt wants, but in 10 years, if they have four kids, we know who wears the pants in the family. No one. <laughs> A good thing about this day is that Emily is no, no longer has to laugh at Matt's lame jo dad jokes. She could just roll her eyes like the rest of us. But let's be honest, she probably already does that anyway. Okay, now, jokes are over. I've calmed down a little bit. Um, let's get a little bit more serious. Emily, I am so proud to see the woman that you have grown to be. You are such a faithful woman of God, strong and outrageously independent. I am in awe of you. I am proud to not only call you my little sister, but also my best friend. I cannot wait to see you grow into an amazing wife and an even more amazing mother one day. I love you. Matt, here, catch. <laughs> so my first interaction with Matt actually happened years before I even knew who he was. Back in high school, either my sophomore or junior year, I was minding my own business, walking, talking with friends, back from lunch, on the way back to class. And I got hit in the back of the head by a flying baked potato. <laughs> Fast forward about five years later, um, Matt was in our living room talking about all the troublemaking he did in high school. Like, one day he decided it would be fun to launch a leftover baked potato down the hallway on his way back to class. So, I don't know much about you now, but I do know this. You have a huge heart and treat my sister like the absolute queen that she is. Your genuine kindness and unbelievable loyalty is something I'm sure everyone around you has noticed. I am so happy I have watched and continue to watch your faith in God grow. Thank you for loving and standing by my sister through all her stubbornness. And thank you for putting your potato throwing days behind you. Here is to Mr. and Mrs. Lawler. I left my drink over there, but... <laughs> Here is to Mr. and Mrs. Lawler. May your life be abundant in laughter, blessings, and many, many babies. I cannot wait to see how your life grows together. I love y'all.
Not insane. 